Thank you very much, guys. Sammy, um, you've had kind of an up-and-down season in terms of injuries and, and all that, but the last month for you has been tremendous. Uh, outside of health, maybe just in terms of stuff on the mound, what's allowed you to have the success that you have? Uh, I mean, I think I just kind of stayed true to my pitching style. Uh, despite the ups and downs, I, I try to attack hitters the same way every time. No matter if I'm if I'm hurting out there, if I'm sore, if I'm tired, or if I'm feeling great, I, I try to have the same pitching style. So earlier this season was a little tougher with the injury, uh, attacking hitters without velocity or command of anything, really. Um, so thankfully that's turning around a bit and I'm having some success. Yeah, less than ideal when you don't have velocity or yeah, command. Yeah. Uh, now... We were talking a couple weeks ago about the nerve issue that you had and how it was kind of tough to get a grasp of how to navigate through it for, for a while there. What, what did that process maybe teach you? What did you learn throughout that? And how have you now adapted, if at all, now that you are healthy? Uh, I mean, the hardest part is... You know, everything needs to stay in-house, so I'm out on the mound struggling. The fans, all they see is me giving up hits and home runs and runs and this, this whole thing, but there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. So we're trying to figure out in the training room how to make my arm bounce back, how to get that velocity back, that command back, and unfortunately with this injury, it was just time. So there wasn't much we could do outside of just waiting and, and pitching through it. So I tried to do that. Obviously, my numbers got hurt a bit uh, early in the season, and I'm still chipping away at those. But but right now, I think the process worked. It just took about four and a half months. So thankfully, that we're there now, and, and I'm ready to go into the postseason. Yeah, you're there at the right time. Yeah. You know, Dusty, when he, when he talks about you, he talks about how he loves it. You get lefties and you get righties out. Yeah. What do you think either stuff or approach has led to your ability to have success against right-handers as well? Um, well, coming up as a starter in the Nationals organization, I mean, that was that was kind of my forte. Is it, you, know, you can't choose as a starter who you're going to face. And I'm definitely not a, a lefty specialist either, more, you know, Oliver Perez type. So I think just being comfortable and, and executing pitches on both sides of the plate with lefties and righties, especially with my changeup, because left on left, you don't throw too many changeups, but facing right-handed hitters, I can definitely use that pitch as a weapon. Now, I, I didn't remember this until I went back and looked at the numbers. You appeared in all five games in the NLDS last season, yes, and obviously that was your first taste of the postseason. Yeah. What did that experience you know, do for you, maybe in terms of comfort or experience, just the general experience as you roll into the postseason this time around? Yeah, I mean, last year was, was the year that I kind of made a name for myself, especially in the postseason. So I think I'm just much more comfortable. I know what to expect, you know besides the baseball there's the media you know there's tv there's people around the clubhouse all the time and it's tenfold to what it is in the season so i'm kind of ready for that I'm, I'm a little more experienced i guess in that aspect but i'm excited too because we we you know we fell short last year and this year i don't think we're going to so i'm excited thanks for the time sammy appreciate it thank you